Hello and welcome. Message received past Mr. Smith. Loud and clear. Thank you very much for uh, leaving this very clear signpost for me to do. Yes. Now, uh, this bit I am going to show, but the next bit after this, I'm going to just very briefly pan in and show you me starting the very large bailing um, task that we have. Uh, and then, yes, I shall. I'm going to hopefully do it in two or three bits because there's no way. 240 seems a little bit, a little bit large to me to do in one. Now, can I get rid of that? Wow, that doesn't really matter. What I could do is, when we're all, we are. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I did say that there was some horrible bits. It isn't. It's not missed either. It hasn't missed any. It's. Um, then I don't know that I would be able to. I don't think I am. But the I let's test my reversing skills. Let's see. Can I reverse in there? It seems a bit choppy on this 4x map. It does. Why? But it seems. Yes. Thoroughly enjoyed my last sessions. We're all planted and seeded and whatever. Oh, let's. I'm going to hit that. It's a little bit too close. Even for a snaky like this, I do love and articulated tractors are absolutely amazing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Apart from when you have someone who is, yeah. yeah. Right, now then, so while we're this close, how much is there in there? We seem to be 46 tons, 372 animals, no births because their health would be down, but I do believe I was right in so much as they will shortly. Yeah, there wasn't long, was it, before somebody was giving birth two or three months, I think. Let's get rid of that little bit. And are we going to be really daring and reverse all the way down? Go on, then. Let's, let's, yeah. Let's see if we can keep this steady. Not go too fast. Yes, I've done some aerobatics. Yes, I've been. Uh, ju I've done another bit today. Actually, thoroughly enjoyed it. The inner child was released for a very short while, as I jumped the ramps on Stone Valley. Yeah, absolutely loved it. Again. Right now, then let's straighten up a little, because it's going to get a bit. Do the water now. At some point, how much do they need? How much? 55 quite a lot 220 two lots of this and while this is filling we shall do the water I think yeah I'm going to show this bit do the animals and then I'm going to uh Ooh. now we could be clever and just shove that in like that Ooh, I still don't know that I've got that right still doesn't look right. Why am I so slow? Uh, that is about six foot away. That's terrible. It is. Right. Well, we're going to use the amazing ability of this fantastic articulated tractor to actually curl around the corner. Still hard to tell from this angle. Don't think you can actually go through the back wall of this. Aha, there we go. Smashing. Right, TMR. Yeah, I have also been challenged, but not challenged in a bad way, to um, yeah, mixing wagons rather than buying from H2 Studios all the time, which it's a very time saving feature of our contract with H2 Studios that we can actually buy this TMR at such a reasonable amount which is why I often don't mix it myself. The other thing is I do tend to sell silage as one of our main things which is probably the biggest reason why I don't use a mixing wagon because it's sort of like stealing from our own income stream which is why I buy very reasonable silage um, well no TMR actually from all the farmers is my biggest reason it's not laziness it is that we are cannibalizing our own profits if we do that so that is my main reason now then, 
let's try that again. This has got the ability snake. Let's let's use that ability. And it's come wide. And we need to snake that away. Ooh, but then that's gonna pull my front end to the left. Should do it now. Right, okay. Why oh, I was gonna do the I think we could really do with a couple of tractors here, you know, truthfully. Ah, that's a point. Yes, no, no, no. Hold that thought. I do believe this has got a pin hitch. Now, isn't the water a pinch bolt? Did I just say that wrong? I think I did, didn't I? Ooh. accident there with the fence. Yes, I think we could permanently leave this attached because I've got to be honest, it was nice to buy this and I've always wanted to have a go, but other than that grabbing the pig food off the floor, it's not got a lot of work unless of course one session we decide that we're going to manually grab the manure, which this would make my work of it. Ooh, now then you can straight past that. It's got what is not the best steerer. It's a bit of a beast. Right. Oh, I think this might be the wrong kind of hitch. Well, I don't know. Is it an eye? I'm not sure. It looks like a low hitch rather than a uh, pin pinch bolt. But we should try. Oh, is it? No. I'm sure I can see an eye. Looks good to me. Right, smashing. Right, let's go and grab another set of TMR. Yeah, I am right. right so this time we're going to go forwards. It's, it's quicker. Yes, let's try and ignore the fact that those gates are shut. And somehow our cow, or one a, a thing that looks like a cow, seems to be out. But of course it can't be because the gates are shut. So... It is what I commonly call the ghost in the machine. We still have not taken that up to the top. Wow, that brownie's rough. Now then make sure you pass the... Yeah, not quite. Now then I am scraping that. Wow, that's pulling it in. What? That's me. It's got to be me. Let's push it out. Right, now then, let's see. Just go straight-ish. Going out to the right very slightly. That should do it. Yes, that looks good to me. Right, let's go and fill the water again. And... I do believe Ooh. 20 tons, that's not bad right, this should be enough and then we need to check our pigs to see what they need, although I've got to be honest if they are like they were down the bottom they don't eat a lot yeah, let's do the milk as well I still do agree that I do think this is slightly underpowered got any Tractors on sale this one. Did I check? I did. Yes. I remember that from last session. You've done it again. You have done that again. You're trying to. I know what's doing it is the tanker's in the way, really. It's my own silly fault. Somebody left a tanker really in a silly place and stealing all of my swing space so I blame me oh it's still going to be tight yeah I knew it was I can cheat that is after all what articulated tractors were designed for I should just about do it this time 
Right, while that is unloaded, let's go and have a check of the pigs without going in the menu. 73 out of 85 tons, slurry, 12,000, 12 tons of water and straw. These are dream machines. I absolutely love pigs in FS22. I'm going to have to get into the habit of actually having them more often. Yeah, and that's a point. But I didn't check. Let's just pay attention to everything. Ooh, we have 270. So... We need to start to use our head and actually sell some of these and look at the best time to sell them. Because otherwise we are wasting a trick. Really, that's the thing I've got to get used to with pigs. Let's have a look. So, how much are these worth? They're worth, let's go from the top. They're 329, 512, they must be the big ones. They're babies. Oh, and they are the big, big ones. So we don't really want to be selling those. Because they're, they're still pubescent. And there are 60. And they're worth 145. So we could do with... First of all, let's see when they're going to reproduce. Now, they are close to being breeders. They're worth 329. We could sell those. We could actually. Do you know that is that is a point. How do I? Uh, I'm gonna say how do I actually sell pigs? Somewhere in here. Can we sell them? Just sell. I've never tried to do this, so we're gonna go for the three two nine. We are going to sell all 60, and we will get 16,950. So I think we're going to do that. Yes. Smashing. So we've got a bit of room again until the next set. 210, 60 space for 60. There you go. We've actually made profit from pigs. That was really nice. It's not bad. Quite pleased with that. So we don't need to do anything with the pigs now. We are... 200, that's close enough. He's only 20, 20 tons short. Although we do need to... Yeah, I think we're going to go and get a lorry. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's go and grab one of our lorries. We are going to bring it down. We've done all of the heavy lifting. And let's... Do we need this? We could take it down because we could grab some manure on the way back up. Yes, so, yeah, I'm well chuffed, look at all of our fields, all looking green and verdant this morning, yeah, one month of growth, June, and we are going to get our uh, oats, it is oats, I think it is oats, isn't it, On in June, no, it's July, and canola, it's barley, did we do any barley this year? remember if we did actually oats no I don't think we did no we didn't no hang on a minute have we yes we did it's all right I remember now yeah it's it's a couple of sessions and they were quite monstrous they really were so I was, it was a bit in my head what we did and what we covered. I, l I do remember using the um, herbicide, the burnt, burnt out. That was real good fun. I did thoroughly enjoy that. I hope I conveyed my emotion well enough on that one because that was not an act. I really did thoroughly enjoy that. It was great fun. Right, so if we get this filling, we will then get on with the milk side of things and well, I've not done any water runs at all yet. I literally start the cameras the second I popped down here. So, yeah, it's slurry. How much is there? I did not check. I know, I know you would have seen it, but I didn't take it in at all. 90 tons. Right, so at some point today, we're going to do that. But I, my main concern now is to get some... Get some... Um, bales loaded off that field and stuck in 
Right, so let's start filling and let's drop you. And we're going to go and do some milk while that's filling. Right, tanker. I quite like these, they are good. Although it's hard to get used to the um, After 82 Studios, they their point is at the back, which we got all my life, a lot. Yeah, whereas these are at the side, it, like literally in the middle, so you have to go back a lot further before you get the filling sort of icon up here, which I'm getting, it's hard to get used to. Right. Can we? No, we can't spin around. This is a very, very long vehicle. We're going to go right the way down the bottom, and then we're going to spin back round. Actually, no, we probably could. It's a swivel axle, specially made to turn quite quickly. Right, engine off. Let's be good. I do love the colours on this one. I'm, yeah, the copper one, it's gorgeous. A real piece of eye candy, although it is a little bit mucky. Yeah, you, you might get the impression we work on a farm, perhaps. It is a nice lorry, this is. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, never been a massive fan of the uh, American lorries because they look strange to me because obviously being... there. Yeah, being English, I'm used to seeing the ones that look like the man lorries. The M-A-N. I don't know if you do pronounce it man. Yeah. But yes, we have a lot of that style. These ones with noses like this, we just don't see in the UK. Well, I certainly don't. Anyway, yeah, they're all the European man... Oh, my... Oh. No. It's forgetting these have got massive amounts. You can feel it all. Oh need to be putting some in them all. Right. Oh, this is going to test my skill, isn't it? Reversing. With a swivel axle. Great fun. Yeah, because there's a bit of a bank there. Might not translate very well, but it's a little bit tall for me to... Let's see. Let's see, have you learnt anything? Well, Mr. Smith, what do you think? Would you say that's a pass? I I would say, yeah, actually, that's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all, actually. I would have been more impressed if you'd have reversed all the way up to here, though. That That would have been quite, quite something to see. try to reverse it around the corner if that would the trouble is it's actually going the wrong way so that's going to be quite a feat for me to do that because I'm also going to be hitting the fence and those milk urns so it, it's quite stacked against me really if I'm honest so do you know if there was nothing in the way I would actually do what you just asked, but uh, I think I'll have to pass this time. Perhaps another time, if I get it straight, I might have a go and see if we can reverse it a little bit further than six foot. Right, we will check Summer and ooh, Lily. Lily, that's it. this side. Yeah, it's a different way we've got this one, isn't it? I remember when the uh, old cow yard was here, the little one. I think that's going to be too bit too far out. Aha. Right, let's go and have a quick look at Lily and Summer and see how they're doing. 
I've got to be honest, these horses are absolutely no trouble at all. Food, eight, two, four, seven, two, four. Yeah, they cost us a fortune. Yeah, the uh, person who comes charges me $300, I think. 300 euros. That's just, and the second I said that, I knew I was on pounds. Right, next one. Right, okay, there we go. Apologies, I've got into a menu. My bad. Right, okay then. So, I am going to pan out. That's all of the milk done in all of our... In fact, let's leave this one down here. Right, I am going to uh, pan out, and I'm going to see you shortly when I have done a few bales. Okay, so I'm going to see you in a few minutes. Before I start, yes, before I start, I'm about to hook up, but I just thought, I did notice in editing last time, that, you know... <sighs> I do think we ought to look after our equipment a little bit better than this. It is a tad mucky, don't you think? So I just thought on camera I would show you that I do actually care about my equipment. It's just that the fields are so large, by the time we have done the circuits, they look absolutely ditched. So yeah, this is me on camera just showing you that I do care about this fence. It's a beautiful Heston Baker. It really is. Okay, and also equally on camera I wish you to see this because if you look at the bottom of those windows Gordon Bennett is that mucky or is that mucky yes so the John Deere and I are going for a wander into the meadows and we are going to grab some bales and hopefully over the week I will probably I'm not going to try to do this in one bit because it is just way too much it really is right anyway You've seen the evidence. I am going to grab a few bales, and I shall probably show you my pr yeah how far I get on this first session. Yeah, so I'm going to see you in a few minutes. Well, probably for you a few minutes, for me quite a few minutes. So see you shortly. Ideal opportunity. This I'm going to see if I can actually get this right. If you get these wrong, there is a bit of a knack to them where you can actually turn them around. If you put them on the edge and start to spin the opposite way and you can sort of flip it into the path of the and it will eventually grab it is it's a bit of a knack it's not one you can easily explain also if you these bale pushers then off give a massive clout just watch this absolutely yeah this is it this might actually be a good one to test show you me doing it ah, only I've lost it yeah, it's not that easy it is a real knack you can sort of if you turn into it it will grab it eventually see if I can grab one for you see if I can actually get one you can also which is actually the very first time I used this I did it completely wrongly you can actually come at these straight on sideways and it will work or at least it used to yeah which is a little bit naughty I know but yeah you can the thing is with these though you cannot catch them too far out it's got to be almost square if I try to deliberately get this a little bit too far to the left you'll see it just totally ignores it which is I like that because it does require an element of skill you've got you as you're getting tired you definitely can miss it quite easily yeah I am about I think I've done about 50 so I'm aiming for 70 or 80 and then I'm going to do that three times during the week I'm just yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is I think six this is the sixth is it six or is it five I've not put any in the bottom one yet. It's all gone in the top one. Ooh, this is an ideal one to show you what I mean. If I pull to the left, it should begin to turn and eventually grabs it. Smashing. Yeah, anyway, I shall pan in in a couple... You can see I've actually thinned it up at this end. This is the end now I'm actually working at, at the minute. So, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, pan back in in a few minutes and show you my progress up oh, this top end is probably going to be so see you shortly right I thought I'd take you for one little go with the uh, to do 10 of these and also mention the fact that no the John D has a change colour this is one of the few let's plays that I've actually got a fence on so do you know I thought I would really like to go on that fence 
It's the John D. Was it is a powerful tractor, but yeah, this is absolutely whizzing these around like they are nothing, and I like that. It's a beautiful of a machine. Yeah, so this is the only thing where I can get my uh, fix of a fent. Although I, I suppose technically it's a challenger, but yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's the beautiful. It is my second favourite tractor in whatever form it comes. But yeah, it is gorgeous. Fast, powerful, yeah, brilliant at steering, absolutely amazing. Yeah, so I thought I'd take you, if you look, I've got all of this section now. I think actually I'll probably do it in two hits. I've got most of the middle, well, no, some of the middle, I'm not going to say most, but I think there's definitely another session, so I shall, yeah, once I've got this 10 with you, I shall uh, take them in and then next session I will yeah, start the cameras rolling again and uh, show you the beginning, middle and end like I have today yeah, without you having to uh, do 120 bales yeah, it's, which is a bit, it's definitely a little bit yeah, yeah if, you're, if you're doing any speed with this, the bale pusher it, it absolutely I've never seen anything that deals with bales as well as the bale pusher it's the only thing of this type that I've ever seen actually works I remember the very first session I actually uh, bought it and I was like expecting it to be as there's another one like um, a weight that's in the shape of a and I remember getting that one and I was very disappointed it cost an absolute small fortune and did not cut it so you can imagine with this I was thinking yeah yeah it's going to be another one of those and to my surprise this thing actually works it is an absolute beast you've got to have it lowered for it to be at its best as I found out you could it, it'll still trip you over and you'll crash into bales if you don't have it lowered but you have that load and it's like a battering ram it is amazing it's the only thing that speaks bale almost as if it's a bale it's good definitely recommend you to buy it as well as it not breaking the bank it's very reasonable is it 295 euros pounds or dollars it's fantastic it really is yeah ooh, they see that's a perfect one to show you me totally making an absolute pig's ear of it yeah then let's see if I can get it back you've got to pull heavily to the right and then it'll catch it, smashing. No, no, let's go down this end. We're much, much closer to this end than we are that now. You can see those. Yep, so this is the last 10 for this session. We've totally cleared the top end of the field. Now it's this lot down here. Actually, I should have taken this up to the top. But hey ho, it is what it is now. We're done. We seem to have got to a point where there's no more water. I've been down to the water distributor and it says there's no more capacity for water. I checked the tank, the 500 tonne tank, and it is full. So, perhaps all of our... Mind you, actually, that is true. We haven't drained in our digester. I bet you the water is full. Ah, Mr. Smith, you're napping. You're supposed to have done that a long time ago. Yeah. So expect another episode of Rombots. This, in fact, this might be a session in itself. We may have enough footage for me to just about, because there's no time lapses or anything like that, and we've done quite a few minutes of this as well. So I'm going to leave the fence, Challenger, sorry, Challenger, down here, and ready for action next session. So we've done our animals. Uh, the water's full, so there's none of that chasing around. We do next session need to set a the team of limers liming and also the fertilizer machine also fertilizers once i've got all of these oh my life there are a lot more than you think yeah there are that is a lot of bales still still we have taken a lot of bales as well anyway i am going to say thank you very much for watching i truly do hope that you continue with me on this journey and i'm going to say goodbye for now